Okay, this next one is for all the single ladies. Oh. There's a new dating app. It's called Hula, and it's promising to offer you better guys. How, do you ask? Only men who are endorsed by other women are allowed on the platform. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, what do you what do you think of this app idea? Okay, so for people who don't know, I've I've researched dating apps uh, a lot, and I'm not just using it as a figure of speech. Uh, <laughs> But I think, you know, what's interesting here is the women have to vouch for the men that they put mm -hmm. on. And what that made me think about is that then that puts a lot of pressure on yes. the women to have to police and to uh, make sure that they're keeping their male friends in line. And we don't know yes. what our friends are like it's in like relation to witness. That's the thing, and it puts them in really awkward positions, yes. I think, because you've got this woman who you don't know, who you want to be in solidarity with, mm -hmm. but they're saying something about a date that you weren't on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this sounds like a lot of labor on top of the labor we know women already do mm -hmm. in the dating market. So it's an interesting idea, but the execution seems, yeah nerve-wracking to me. I, I, I'm totally for this idea, and I'll tell you why. I, I, I think in the name of sisterhood, if, you have, if you're a man and you're like, okay, I want to get on this dating app and I need to have a friend vouch for me, you obviously have to be a decent human already to begin with because you stand to lose not only potentially a date, you have to be accountable to your friend who's vouching for you to be on the site also. And I think that that's going to make you think twice about your behavior. So you've got two lines of defense. You've got a woman who, I mean, in the name of sisterhood, if you said to me, yep, yeah, that's a good guy, or you said to me, that's a good guy, I'm going to trust you. Even though I don't, I mean, I know you guys, but let's say there's another woman who I don't know. I'm going to, like, I don't know if you, if you, uh, like, follow me on this example. I was on the subway the other day, and there was this big group of guys that came in, and they were big and boisterous and loud. And, and I'll tell you, when you're traveling alone as a woman anywhere, when you see a big group of men, you get a little nervous. Am I right? Like, so right away, I was just like, okay, Okay, breathe, relax. And then I saw a woman come out from between the group and was there with the guys. And instantly, I felt better. Yeah. And why? There is something about the presence of a woman in a hetero man's life that makes him better. <laughs> well, that's Can interesting. No, that, that, that is interesting. I just think this, you're not necessarily gonna have all of your friends on this app at the same time. And I don't, frankly, I get what you're saying in that example, but for the most part, I don't necessarily trust all women's opinions about the type of guy I wanna date. Like, your, your, someone's trash can be another person's treasure. Like, I feel like there are obviously certain, like, red flags that none of us would like, but I can see how you get into the weeds where somebody, let's say the guy isn't that interested and he ghosts you. Not the best move, but it doesn't mean he's off he might not have just been interested. And if suddenly he's red flagged on this app and he becomes like this problem, I just see the possible ways in which a guy who's just trying to navigate dating in the best way possible becomes inadvertently blacklisted because it, he had a bad date or bad connection with one person. But doesn't it weed out guys who are just looking for a hookup? I don't know. Because no. I, I, like, I hear what you're saying, and I think it's like, in pure, sp the spirit of it yes. is amazing. Yes. And it, 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 like, I wish humanity was like that. But the thing is, I think about all, a lot of my guy friends, and I don't know them in the context of a romantic setting. I only, they're decent to me as a friend. I don't know what they're like as a boyfriend. And, you know, bad boyfriends exist even when they have women in their lives because they have mothers and sisters. Like, you know, have you ever met a guy you've broken up with? Then he had a mother and, and sisters. Sister. Sister. Maybe the moms and the sisters have to do the endorsing. <laughs> hey, that's another I think problem. That's a terrible oh, that's idea. another uh, problem. No. You do not want to no. be in a relationship <laughs> when the mother and sister are involved. No. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.